and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about why some anime translations suck. For some reason, I've been getting this question a lot lately and I wanted to have a little discussion as to why that is the case from a professional translator's perspective. I am one of Crunchyroll's translators. I do their anime, their manga, their J-dramas. Um, my most well-known works are definitely Akamega Kill and Baby Steps and probably Switch Girl. I've taken a huge step back from translating because I am working on a bunch of different things now, but what I'm about to discuss actually applies to all different types of industries that involve translating. I've translated for things that are not related to anime and not related to kind of like social media. So yeah, this all applies across the board. Now the reason why some anime and anime titles especially have poor translations is because we are just simply 100% at the mercy of whatever Japan's publishers and creators want in order to preserve their work. That means Japan's anime publishers have certain words, phrases, names that they want specifically in their English localizations, even if it isn't proper English. Sadly, the word they sometimes want misses the connotation that is otherwise necessary when translating something from Japanese into English. And we as translators give suggestions on how it might fit the English structure better or maybe the grammar better. And sometimes the publishers agree and it's all dandy and awesome. And then sometimes we get pushback, in which case we just have to go with whatever the Japanese publishers and creators want. And this is entirely fair because they're the ones that are making it so they absolutely get final say in how their product gets localized in America. Now Japanese overall is actually quite difficult to translate because there is a lot of room for interpretation. Japanese is very much based on contextual clues and what is situationally happening so one word has the ability to be translated into like many many different things. For example the word mahojin literally means magic magic person, but depending on the context, it can be magician, magic wielder, wizard, witch, sorcerer, anything really that involves a person that does magic. So if there's ever something like that in question, we as translators obviously try to choose the best fitting word or phrase, and if we get pushback, there is just nothing we can do. Each studio, each creator, each publisher treats all of their anime titles differently, so we're basically always on our toes. I like to think of us as the people who try to keep the balance between having Japan be happy and also accurately portraying what happens in the story to an English-speaking audience. And yes, just like any job in the world, sometimes the translator sucks, much like a cashier can suck. It's just the way it is in life. But most oftentimes than not, our weird titles and strange misnomer translations come from direct English orders from Japan. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little something today. Please give the video a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you're new to see some of my other more weirder stuff. And let me know in the comment section below what the worst or weirdest translated anime title is. Can't wait to read those. Follow me across social media. I am at Sign Scully everywhere and I will see you in my next video. Sonja matane!